Hi, my name is Leela and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make chow mein. Now chow mein simply means fried noodles in Chinese. And there are several different ways to do these noodles. The first is you can deep fry them, which makes them crispy and gives your dish an extra crunch. Another way to do them is simply fry them with a little bit of oil while they're still soft. And then the third way is to make them into a pancake form and fry either side. Now today we are going to do a deep fry noodle, which just gives this dish an extra crunch. So let's go ahead and get started on our chow mein. Okay, now for my noodles, I'm just going to use a regular vermicelli, and I'm going to use just 8 ounces, so I'm just going to use half of this box here. So I'm going to first go ahead and bring a pot of water to boil. Okay, and once our water comes to a boil, we can just go ahead and add our vermicelli, and we're just going to let it boil for about 6 to 7 minutes. And once your noodles are done, you can go ahead and drain them in a colander. And you just want to let them sit until they dry off. And once the noodles have sat in the colander, you can just return them to the pot and then just add about two tablespoons of peanut oil to the noodles. And you just want to stir it around. And this is so that the noodles don't stick together while they're sitting in our pot here. Now here I have my boneless, skinless chicken breasts and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all of the fat just like that. And once all of the fat is removed from your chicken, what we want to do is we just want to cut it into about one inch pieces just like that. And once our chicken is cut, we are just going to sprinkle on our garlic salt and just kind of mix it in with your hands so that it coats every piece. Now here I have my frozen stir fry vegetables and as you can see it's just a mix of broccoli, green beans, um, little red pepper and some mushrooms. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to microwave this on high probably for about three to four minutes or just until it's cooked through. And once the vegetables are cooked through, I'm just going to go ahead and drain them in a colander as well. Now here I have all of my ingredients for my sauce and I'm just going to mix in my sherry with my chicken broth and then my sugar and my oyster sauce. And I'm just going to mix it all together and this is going to be the sauce for our chow mein. Now in a smaller cup, I'm just going to mix our cornstarch with just a little bit of water just until it dissolves. And now we can go ahead and get started on cooking our chow mein. Okay, once our oil is hot, we're going to take about a third of the noodles and carefully add it to our wok. Now, here you want to be careful because it will bubble up, so just stand back and add about a third of the noodles, just like this, to our wok. And we just want to let them cook until they are nice and crispy. And once they're done, they'll be slightly golden brown in color. 
and you can just use a wire mesh sieve and remove it from your wok just like that and then place them on a plate lined with paper towels and now you can go ahead and continue cooking the rest of your noodles And once our oil is hot, we can go ahead and add our chicken. And we just want to cook it until it browns on both sides. And once my chicken is brown, I'm just going to go ahead and add my vegetables since they're already cooked. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my sauce. And I'm just going to mix everything up together until it's thoroughly combined. And once it's combined, I'm going to go ahead and add my cornstarch. And then I'm just going to stir it until it's slightly thick. And now I can remove it from the heat and serve it on top of my noodles. Now to serve, I am just going to place my chow mein on top of my fried noodles. As you can see, the center part where the sauce is loosens up the noodles and they are delicious and crunchy. Enjoy!